Ah, earthquakes, you say, Rishi? Those sudden earth-shaking events that can turn a peaceful day into a chaotic mess. But what actually causes the ground to shake like that? Let's dive into the science behind earthquakes and get to the bottom of this geological mystery. So, picture this, the Earth's crust isn't just one solid shell, it's more like a giant jigsaw puzzle made up of pieces called tectonic plates. These plates are always on the move, sliding past each other, bumping into one another, or even pulling apart. And when they get stuck and then suddenly release, boom, you've got yourself an earthquake. Now, let's talk fault lines. These are like the seams in our jigsaw puzzle where the plates meet. Most earthquakes occur along these fault lines when the stress from moving plates builds up and then snap. The energy is released in the form of seismic waves. These waves ripple out from the focus, shaking the ground as they go. Imagine dropping a stone in a pond and watching the ripples spread out. That's pretty much what's happening beneath our feet during an earthquake. But how do scientists measure the strength of these ground-shaking events? Enter the Richter scale. This handy tool, developed by Charles F. Richter in 1935, measures the magnitude of an earthquake. It's a logarithmic scale, which means each whole number increase represents a tenfold increase in measured amplitude and roughly 31.6 times more energy release. So a magnitude 5 earthquake is way more intense than a magnitude 4. And what about those aftershocks? Just when you think it's safe to come out from under the table, these little devils can strike. Aftershocks are smaller quakes that follow the main event as the crust adjusts to the new stress distribution. They can go on for days, weeks or even longer. But wait, there's more. Did you know that not all earthquakes are natural? Humans can cause them too. Activities like mining, reservoir-induced seismicity from filling large dams and even geothermal energy extraction can trigger quakes. It's like we're playing a very risky game of Jenga with the Earth's crust. So, what can you do to stay safe during an earthquake? Drop, cover and hold on. Get under a sturdy table or piece of furniture, cover your head and neck and hold on until the shaking stops. And remember, stay away from windows because you don't want flying glass to add to the chaos. That's the scoop on what causes earthquakes and how they work. Next time the ground starts shaking, you'll know exactly what's going on beneath your feet. Stay curious, stay safe, and keep exploring the awesome power of our planet. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this crash course on earthquakes, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more earth-shattering science. Learn with Rishi. Catch you in the next video.